All right, well, we enjoyed a beautiful Saturday out there today. Andrew, we just want to keep things going. And we shall oblige, won't we? We're looking at sunshine coming back tomorrow, folks, and even higher temperatures. But of course, we have to get through a chilly night. It is the beginning of November after all, but it's still going to feel wonderful by November standards. I mean, temperatures will be down into the low and mid 30s, generally between 30 and 35 degrees here in the metro zone, down to about 36, though, over in West Bloomfield. Good evening to you. South of I-94, temperatures also between 30 and 35, although 37 in Luna Pier when you join us tomorrow morning on Local 4 News Today. Sure, grab it. An extra blanket. It'll be close to freezing or just a bit above in our west zone. Same thing in our north zone with temperatures also in the low and mid 30s. Pretty uniform all around. Once again, we're all in the same boat. And it's good news that we are because we're looking at dry conditions all across the region and fair skies overhead. 46 right now, but it feels like 42. So wind chills and temperatures closer to one another than we normally see this time of year as well, especially if the winds pick up. But fortunately, winds remain light. Daylight saving time, no S, comes to an end tonight. So remember, turn the clocks back one hour and let me help you go ahead and prepare for that time, time change in sunrise and sunset. Sunrise is earlier at 7.14, yes, before 8 a.m., but sunset before 6 p.m., before 5.30 p.m. Sunset is at 5.19. Also a good idea, change the batteries in all of your alarms, your smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors. Good safety tip for you and the family. Take a look at temperatures over the next few days. Tomorrow we get close to 60, above 60 degrees on Monday. How about that? Even as it cools off, it's still going to be above the average high of 51 or 52 over the next four days. 48 right now for our friends over in Oxford. Hello, Romeo, you've got 47 at this hour, 46 over in Howell. Same thing down to our south. Temperatures around 45, 46 degrees from Dundee over to Adrian. And all these temperatures, every degree matters, at least two, four, even eight degrees higher than where they were just 24 hours ago. It's chilly out there, but still, it's a bit of a warming trend, isn't it, in the past day? And look, look at this. We're looking at warmer conditions to our west. This bubble of warmer air, 65 in Minneapolis, it's going to slide over us tomorrow. That's why I'm betting on temperatures 60 or even more over the next couple of days. High pressure helps out as well. Keeps things pretty stable. Fair weather skies overhead tomorrow afternoon, but dry conditions. And milder conditions settle in, not only for tomorrow afternoon, but also as we roll into Monday. So the first half of next week is looking good as well. So we're looking at 35 degrees overnight, mainly clear, Turn your clocks back one hour before going to bed. Sunrise at 714 on your Sunday. Beautiful blue skies once again. Great for fall festivals and all sorts of activities on your Sunday. A high temperature of 60 degrees. Even better on Monday with 63. There's a slight chance of rain on Tuesday, but partly sunny to mostly cloudy. 58 degrees. The better chance of rain or precipitation by late on Veterans Day after many festivities. 62 for a high and especially next Friday and Saturday.